the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I'd like you to pray with a holy anger and say, Lord, I came to you. I won't go back the my way I came. I, I cried my life to God my already. I said, Lord, I came for tonight's meeting to meet with you. Ah, the way I used to be since your presence will come and change us. Come on, pray in other tongues, inside and outside. No matter how far you are, God is ready to do wonders in your life tonight. Hey. Come on, prophesy. I would go back, not with this sickness, not with this challenge. If God is alive, hey, hey. For I will go back, I can't go back to the way it used to be. Since your presence came and changed me. Prophesy for your family, for your life, for your ministry. The presence of God is in this place, inside and outside. Let there be sounds of worship. I refuse to go back. I refuse to go back. Just the voices. Come on, sing. I won't go back. I can't go back. Never. The presence of God is here tonight for your taking to change your story. I'm telling you the God of miracles is in this place tonight. For your presence. Forget about whoever you came with, whether it's your husband, your wife, your family members, and Jacob held. Tonight I'm not here as a minister. I'm here with a hunger in my spirit because I know what is obtainable in the atmosphere. I won't go back. No, I came for hunger. There are anointings, mantles flying around this place. I tell you, if you go back the same, it's your fault. God is set for you tonight. Say, Lord, you will change me. Fresh unction. Wonders in my life. Hallelujah. Shalabakosh. Oh, Shalabakosh.
Since your presence is in this place, why should I be the same? Why should I go back with cancer? Why should I go back with HIV? Why should I go back with the tears in my eyes? Why should I go back as failure? Why should I go back as victim? Why should I go back buried? Why should I go back on food? Angry in your spirit tonight, inside and outside. God will watch here tonight. Yes, you will do. It. Yes, you will do. It. For the glory of your son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am convinced that God will do mighty things tonight. You have seen miracle services, but you watch what God will do this night. Hallelujah. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things, you do glorious things. You're a faithful God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things, you do glorious things. Just the voices, help me worship us. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to take the next 10 minutes to pray. Are you listening to me? Now, I'm not talking of this joke and nonsense prayer. If you are not serious, just get transport and go back home. We are going to pray. Listen, listen. If you brought your prayer request, you are going to cry to God and say, if there's a God in heaven tonight, Lord, I'm not ready to clap for anybody tonight. I came for business. In the next 10 minutes, no one is going to stop you. I don't know how you're going to pray. Connect on Facebook everywhere. Our online community. For the next 10 minutes, go ahead and begin to pray. Travel in the spirit. We came for business tonight. Outside, make sure you are praying no matter how far you are. Those online streaming, make sure you are praying. Kata kapa kata, rapata kapa ya, raboto sopete. I will go back the same. I will go back the same. My family will not go back the same. My finances will not remain the same. There is a God in heaven who answers prayer. There is a God in heaven who regulates time. Come on, pray. Walk up and down. Pray. Provoke strength in your spirit. Whatever you came here for tonight, pray to God. If it's HIV, say Lord tonight, I part ways with it. If it's cancer, say I part ways. Drugs, 
tumors, tumors. If it's academic failure, say I part ways with it. If it's a curse upon your life, say I part ways for your business, for your ministry, for your family, for your life, it's time to change state in the spirit. Do I have prayer warriors in this house? Do I have men of prayer? No matter how far you are, so long as you can hear my voice, God is ready to touch you. Those outside pray like never before. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Why will I go back the same? Shake every demon. Shake every devil. Shake every curse. Shake every delay. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. The sons of Jacob will possess their possession. Make sure you are mentioning your request. Now is not the time to pray for your friend. Now is not the time to pray for your friend. Now is not the time to pray for your friend. Hallelujah. Oh, tonight is too hot for the devil. I tell you, whatever has brought you here will not follow you back. I assure you. Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus, glorious presence. Something happened when I mentioned your name. Hallelujah. Demons will flee tonight. Gates will be open tonight. Men will change state in the spirit. That's what God told me. Men will change state. The Bible says Saul left and
and he came back as another man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 I don't want you to ever trivialize what God is doing in this place. There is a heavy unction, a heavy unction of the spirit in this place tonight. There is a very heavy unction. The worship team tore this atmosphere open as they led us in worship. I know I won't go back the same. I am convinced no man will stop me. Not this pulpit, not this suit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right from a great distance before I came, I began to see angelic activities and I knew that tonight was a special night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, we are going to be exalting the name of Jesus. And he will do glorious things in this place. Listen to me. Archbishop Benson Idahosa of Blessed Memory said, If your faith says yes, God will not say no. Are you hearing me? If your faith says yes, I want that cancer out of my life. Yes, I want HIV to go. Yes, I want that injury to dry up. Yes, I want that terminal disease to go. Yes, that limitation in my family to go. God will not say no tonight. Are there some things you know you will never see in your life again from this night? I gave us an instruction. I said you should write five things. I don't just say things anyhow. If you've not done that, find a paper and do it now. Five things that God will move upon radically for your life and for your family. Hallelujah. See, listen to me. Please look up. I just want to guide us briefly and then we'll begin to move in the anointing of the spirit. Hallelujah. There are three things that you must know tonight. Keep standing, please. I'll soon ask us. Number one, I want you to know that miracles are not magic. Are you listening to me? Miracles are not what? Magic. Is the definite, is the superimposition of the power of the Holy Spirit upon a man's situation. If God cannot change a man's story, then he is not God. There is no reason why God should touch one person and not touch the other. The fact that he touched one person is a sign that his presence is in the room. Are you listening to me? As, as words are released from this place, i like you to catch it in your spirit. If you are sick in your body, the moment declarations are made, begin to check yourself. Now is not the time to be a spectator. Hallelujah. Because tonight is the time when God will set men free. And God will set families. Don't leave your family behind. You can still send a text to them while you are here. And tell them, send your prayer request. God is doing something this night. It's not too late. It's not too late. Send them a text. We are not just joking. Hallelujah. Jesus is in this place. I want to 
thank everyone inside and outside those of you standing outside I see you from here to as far as my eyes can see the Lord will visit you this night in the name of Jesus I want you to know that the Lord put together these miracle services is not a ritual are you listening to me it's not a ritual it's an act of his love it's a demonstration of his power to give us an opportunity to experience the power of the Holy Ghost at work in the life of his people and if you get angry in your spirit and refuse the Bible says resist the devil and he will flee. I trust that at the end of tonight's meeting, many of you will be smiling home because you will know that finally, 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 the presence of God has set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be seated very quickly. God bless you. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. I want to welcome as many people who have come from different parts of this nation. Hallelujah. You have not come to see a man. You have come to meet the Almighty. And I assure you, you will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our midst. Tonight, glorify Jesus once again. Acts chapter 3. Please, if you've not written your prayer requests, can you write it quickly? If you need to copy down some from your text message, maybe for your family members, do that quickly. Ushers, if it's possible to just help one or two people who are in need of something to write, or you can help someone by your side, please. Let's do that very quickly because we are going to collect them now. Hallelujah. Do it quickly because we'll collect it shortly. Acts chapter 3, verse 12. And when Peter saw it, he answered the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man walk? 13. The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate. And when he was determined and he was determined to let him go. 14. But he denied the Holy One and the just. And desired a murderer to be granted unto you. 15. And killed the prince of life. Whom God hath raised from the dead. Of which we are witnesses. Can we read 16 together? One to read. And his name. True faith in his name. Hath made this man strong. Whom ye see and know. Yea. The faith which is by him had given this man perfect soundness in the presence of ye all. The Bible says, through faith in his name. Faith in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to know tonight that miracles happen because of the power that is in the name of Jesus. Say amen. amen. The name of Jesus is powerful. The name of Jesus is not just a pronunciation. J-E-S-U-S. -S. The name of Jesus is an office in the realm of the spirit. Vested with all the authority that can be in God. Hallelujah. He said, in my name, in my name, ye shall cast out devils. 
not by wearing suit not by speaking good english in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues and if you drink any deadly thing it will not hurt you jesus gave us a ministry and he sent us the bible says when he resurrected he said all hail all authority in heaven and in the earth have been given unto me he said go therefore i send you with my name when he sent the 70 the bible says they came back rejoicing and they said even the devils demons were subject to us only through thy name hallelujah the name of jesus is powerful are you listening to me the bible says in philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 he said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus he said although he was god he did not consider it to be robbery but he humbled himself became a man he died even the death on the cross he said wherefore god had so highly exalted him and he gave him an identity an office and there was a decree in the heavens he said everywhere that name is mentioned let every knee bow of things in the heavens of things in the earth and of things under the earth and that every tongue will confess let me tell you every oppression has a name every sickness every challenge has a name and tonight they will bow to this majestic name of jesus the name of jesus invokes the fullness of the power of heaven it brings the power of heaven to the scene when the name of jesus is released with faith there's nothing there's no power in existence that can stop that name hallelujah there is no power a man had been lying by the gate beautiful and the bible tells us that when it was the hour of prayer having been commissioned to walk in his name in his office in his authority the bible says peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer suddenly they saw this man and the man began to beg for arms and peter said look on us and the bible says he looked excited expecting that they'll just give him money god wants to do more than you came here for because the man just wanted money but god wanted to make him home hallelujah and peter said silver and gold have i known he said but such as i have it has been given to me he said in the name of the lord jesus rise up and walk and the man stood there and was just looking at them didn't get up didn't walk and the bible says peter reached his hand and grabbed him and lifting him the bible says he leaping stood tonight what is that mountain before you tonight what is that challenge before you the bible lets us know that a name has been given unto him he said in my name they shall cast out devils tonight we represent a government and we represent an office given by heaven with the backing of his majesty and on account of that the lord will be terminating all kinds of things in this place years of struggle and delay will vanish overnight believe this believe this the bible says they had the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith tonight god will change your story i assure you he will do it it is within his power he said if thou be willing you can make me clean he said i am willing be thou clean so what is it that you came here what challenge some of you came here with hiv viruses in your body that have defied medical attention some of you came here with terminal disease it's a matter of life and death except god intervenes
Some of you came here with all kinds of heterogeneous oppressions of the devil. Heterogeneous. Some of you came here because you are tired and you need some answers to your life. You're saying, Lord, it can't be like this. I love the song that the worship team minister, it, oh, it tore my spirit open. For how long will your family members continue to lament as if there is no God in Israel? For how long will you continue praying and fasting and begging? He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the set time to favor her. The time to favor her. Yea, the set time. Tonight can be your set time if you are interested in what I'm saying. Hallelujah. That you say, Lord, turn me into another man. This captivity in my life, change it. Change my story. One joblessness to another. Joining the rat race of struggling people in Nigeria. Today you can make up your mind and say, Lord, I contact power in the heavens. All kinds of oppressions by demonic strongholds. It can go. Mental bondage. Mental blockage. You can be set free from it tonight. Marital delays. Marital delays. It can go. Tonight you will see how helpless Satan is at the name of Jesus Christ. I assure you. Hallelujah. Sickness in your body. Every kind of discomfort. Confusion in your life. Some of you are weary. You came here as a last resort. You just said, God, I'm tired. And I pray that you will find rest tonight. In the name of Jesus. Many of you traveled from far and near. I'm aware that there are people who came from as far as Yola. And other parts of this country. I can only imagine what these people were saying in the car. Say, Lord, I'm coming to Zaria to meet with you. God is everywhere, but his manifest presence to demonstrate the sovereignty of Christ is not everywhere. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'd like you to look at your prayer request for one minute. Pick it up and look at it. If you brought it, look at it. Look at it. Get angry about it. I didn't say laugh at it. Look at it. Look at the things you wrote with your own hands. Do you believe God is able to do it? Some of you is building projects. Some of you is to change your genotype, your blood group. Some of you is to terminate the works of darkness. Some of you, there, there are roles of your family members who have not married. The youngest person in your family is 30 years old. No man is coming to ask their hand in marriage. Don't say it does not matter. Because that's your cry in the secret place and you wrote it. Hallelujah. There are many of you, your parents have been on projects for years. Donkey years. Hallelujah. Some of you are struggling. Students, even in this exam right now, there are some people who are already crying and lamenting. There are some of you final year students who are here. You know if God does not help you, you are in for a shock. But I have good news for you. Jesus is in this place tonight. He's not here to watch you beg and roll on the floor. It is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Listen, number one, you must believe that God wants you blessed and he wants you out. You must look, that's why I say you should look at the prayer, the prayer points. You must believe. If you do not believe that God wants these things out of your life or wants to bring these things into your life, then there's no point listening to me. Because the Bible says, for without faith, it is impossible 
impossible to please God. For whoever must come unto him must believe that he exists and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Who is there like you? Oh Lord, you who created us in your likeness, who is the like you? Oh Lord, it's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship you. So I lift my hands to the great I am, who was and who is, and is to come, and is to come. Lift I lift my hands to the great to I the great am. I am. Nothing can stand your presence. I don't care what medical report you are holding in this place tonight. I don't care what medical report you brought. SS, AS, hallelujah. I don't care what HIV, cancer, tumor, arthritis, name it. I don't care what else is in your prayer requests. If God is alive, he will do wonders tonight. I know this. Cabiosio. Cabiosio. There's nothing that defies the power of the living God. Hallelujah. When the nation of Israel stood and the Red Sea was before them, Egyptians were coming with anger to take them back to where they were. What's that worship song again? You could sing that song again. I've forgotten. Who is talking? What are you saying? Eh? Wait. Uh -huh. Before your presence came and changed me. I was singing it boldly, boy. Sing it again. I won't go back. I won't go back. Hold on. From where? You left Egypt peacefully. And and Pharaoh said, I won't let them go. Do you know, listen, listen. Do you know that the fact that God wants to release you does not mean Satan is ready to let you go. It takes power. The Bible says when Moses came and told Pharaoh, he said, Mr. Man, God has sent me. And Pharaoh laughed. Say, which God? There are many. Which one are you talking about? Hallelujah. And he threw his rod. And Pharaoh brought his wise men. They threw their rods too. Tonight there are demons positioned. There are devils positioned. They've been planning since beginning of this month that you won't go. It takes force. He said through the greatness. He said how awesome are your ways O Lord. Through the greatness of thy power. Will thy enemies submit themselves. Not through grammar. Through the, it takes power. Authority is useless without power. A police officer can stop a car and the truck will come and kill him and say, you are wasting my time. Get out of the way. That's a powerless authority. But when you have authority, that there are angels standing to supervise that this word comes to pass. You are not alone in this place. I won't go back. You left Egypt. On your way to your prophetic destiny, now Pharaoh begins to ride upon that horse, mimicking Christ who rides upon his horse also. 
the Bible says there was a Red Sea and the nation of Israel began to murmur and Moses went to God. He says, stand still, Exodus 14, 14. Fear not, be still. He said, for these Egyptians that you see, have the privilege of looking at them at, for the last time. That's why I told you, look at your report. Because it says, these Egyptians you see, you will never, never. And it became true in the Bible because they didn't see those Egyptians again. God opened the ground for them. Whatever God needs to do tonight, if the ground needs to open, if the ground needs to fill, if a boat is to come and carry you to your place, whatever needs to be done is within the power of God. But I know, he said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown, swallowed permanently. You know why they, if they bury a man in water, that's the worst form of death. There's no hope of seeing you. That's why they bury Bin Laden that way. Someone can dig the grave to wipe your memory from the face of the earth. You won't go back. What again? Back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. That's what is happening to you refuse to go back say lord that habit been struggling with masturbation been struggling with pornography i've prayed i've fasted i've done night vigils tonight tonight i contend against those powers once and for all hallelujah he keeps working for others until he gets to your turn hallelujah there are families like that Doors keep opening for every other person until it comes to the point of your father or your mother. Tonight, God will visit families. Oh, God will visit families. You notice the last three or so miracle services, we've been concentrating on families. God wants to step in and do miracles in families. Everything you lay your hands on doesn't work. Everything you lay your hands you own the shop you eat everything there by yourself because there's nobody to come and buy it someone opens another shop before you and you're watching listen life is spiritual if you are yet to know that know it today say after me life is spiritual aha uh -huh. things don't just happen like that you orchestrate things to happen to job he spoke he said have thou commanded thy money thou commanded thy morning it takes authority i'm saying this so that when when the time comes to minister you tell this you tell the devil pack your load and disappear from my life once and for all once and what for all not once and come back later once and for all because there are many people who have received some of the miracles you are writing here before and it came back you see let me tell you something the decree of your anger tonight say it must go once and wrong your mother or your sister struggled with barrenness and then they took in you even get testimony and you are laughing later they said there was a miscarriage come on it will go tonight once and for all for the Bible says God opened the womb of Rachel. God opened the womb of Hannah. It's God that opens wombs. Oh, it's not medical paracetamol or so on and so forth. God opens wombs. If God opens it, no devil in existence can shut it. Hallelujah. There are some of you, they prophesy to you. Even some of your lecturers have spoken to you. They call you the dullest student in the class. They say you are good for nothing. You patch Waeg here credit you added another one later you beg with the third one they say they don't accept they just allowed you but let me tell you something there is an unction that will come upon you tonight it will change your story the bible says they looked at Saul and they say is Saul also a prophet hallelujah terminal disease of all sorts that's why I said heterogeneous manifestations of evil don't you ever tell me God is responsible for what happened to you. Are you listening to me? He said the enemy has done this. 
And so you must rise up and say, Lord, my mother was oppressed from her office. They kicked her out because of her innocence. If you are God, tonight we settle the issue of her job. Tonight we settle every issue. There are some lecturers that were withdrawn from ABU. If you know any of them or any of them is your father, tonight is the night you'll get angry and say, Lord, it is over. Am I making sense to someone here? This is the session. You tell yourself you're going to come in with a CGPA that if men here, they will ask you and say, from whence comment this? <laughs> Hallelujah. Tonight we will open doors that have been closed. Hallelujah. And doors that Satan opened by himself will close both him and the door and close them out forever. Both him and the door. It's only when you are seeing a visitor that he can harass you. When you close him and the door, he goes out forever. Hallelujah of the devil tonight is the night when you say Lord I will step up everybody is announcing say God is blessing Jake is announcing and say God is opening doors I'm sure that there are some families who are here seated they are even doubting and say God will you really do this this night some of you invited your family members some of you outside while you are listening some people are even doubting and say, will God really change my story? Because one prophet or one apostle spoke like this oh, some months ago. You watch what God will do tonight. For you won't go back. You can't go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. There is a name that has been given unto us. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The exalted son of the living God. Greater than every herbalist. Greater than every sickness in your body. Greater than every medical condition. I like you. See, tonight is the night you will stamp medical reports. And say, I stamp you. genotype to change it's the time for the anointing of the spirit to walk in your life why is it not you why not see listen listen there are some of you that like receiving for others you have trained your faith to receive for others so when the word is coming like this you just exempt yourself why not you ask your neighbor say why not you Say it. Why not you? What is wrong with God prospering you? What is wrong with God changing your story? Is it a sin if your family celebrates a new car? Must they die like that? They already love God. Is it a crime for God to bless your family? I'm speaking to someone here. Is it a crime that they dedicate a house and stop being harassed by landlords? Is it that God cannot do it? If a rich man promises you now, you will start dancing. But God is here giving you an open check tonight. Some of our parents have been working for 14 years, 15 years. Because they will not compromise, they have refused to promote them. And he's telling on many of you, your parents are already becoming hostile to everyone at home. Tonight we have come to change these things. Some of you have received all kinds of devilish prophecies over your life. They've said you will not amount to anything. But I have a shock for Satan tonight. You know, when you have a present, you first bring it out. You don't know what is inside, but you know there's a present. You will make a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Like Haman, they are the ones who will orchestrate your victory as you ride upon that horse. you don't know if you are a visitor here let me tell you a few things we deal ruthlessly with satan in this place are you listening to me 
because we identify him to be the source of men's failure and predicaments in life he said the enemy the bible calls him a thief anything that a thief has is not his own where did he get it from answer me where did he get it from from who the owner the bible calls him a thief he has stolen the joy of some people and some families there are many of you now your families are the verge of divorce your father has not spoken to your mother for years because one woman in the village said all kinds of rubbish tonight some of you your loved ones have been missing you even thought they are dead they will come back oh yes he shouted the voice of Lazarus and in hell Lazarus had it your own they've not gone to hell yet they will hear this night tonight every stubborn spirit that exists on the earth that is at work in everyone will be released tonight because when we did the teaching about destiny help us do you know that there are human beings that have the art of allowing themselves to host demons and cause catastrophe for others oh in case you don't know know it now when jesus was born he suddenly found out that they were looking for him to kill him questions are who did he offend oh don't offend me don't offend you <clears throat> paul and angel said this the earth is a battleground not a playing a football field that my change will come tonight that my change will come I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on, till my answer comes, if there is such an anointing, I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep pressing on. Those of you who have been marked by the spirit of death, who will cause it out of your life. Are you listening to me? One more time, look at your prayer request for the very last time. And I mean business. Ushers, please get set because we'll collect the prayer requests so that when we start, we don't need to be interrupted. Speak to it. Any goodbye forever. I've waited for this time. Pack your load out of my life. Uh -huh. You are not reciting a poem. You are prophesying. He says, son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. Look at it for the last time. And say, Jesus, I believe in you. You are greater than this report. You are greater than this challenge. Tonight it will answer to your name. If it doesn't respect me, it will respect the name of Jesus. Now begin to pray in tongues as you pass that prayer request to the last person at the aisle. Outside, do it quickly. Just pass it to the last person at the aisle. Ushers, direct them, please. Quickly. Shata rabala kata branda kalabosa. Rembrete gete kat shaprasta la kata. Sheraba kata balaraba. This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you. This is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call This is my confidence, Lord. Now, in 
one minute. I like you to pray for your loved ones. Say, Lord, from here, let this unction lead to their homes. Make sure you are praying. Call them by name. Call them by name. They are not as anointed as you are. Standing for them. Call them by name. Call them by name. Say, Lord, for my sister. Call them by name. Your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata parikata, leke borosotaya. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house, and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Toki, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. There's someone that has been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Sale. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. Please, ushers, position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place. Hallelujah. Listen, you will be set free. Where did you come from? come from? Bauchi, Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil of him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus just breathe in and out breathe in and out I set you free right now at the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah now listen listen please I want to see those who have heart conditions you came here, hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, please run out. We are going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we will end quickly. Heart conditions, leave your seat and come out here quickly. Either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation. Quickly, quickly, appreciate them as they line up here. Ushers, coordinate them. Heart conditions. Please come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. 
come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Line up, usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait bye bye to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, Sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check. If you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition, don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe, sometimes is literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me, because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 You are a devil of darkness. Come out. Come out. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing, as hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now because your own is an oppression. Look at me. You, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go, 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 go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go round by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John Capitalist, Minister Jakes, Bishop. Let's begin to. As they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. You are a devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus made whole right now be made whole oh God is not done with you God is not done with you be healed in the name of Jesus as you go back to your seat check yourself be healed right now be healed right now 
be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come out of her now come out of her come out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost out of her right now in the name of Jesus what's wrong Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Whenever I call you, you set you free. Set free right now from every oppression in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside, please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One, two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside. Shout Jesus. In power, move in power at the back, outside at the back, move in power, move in power. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The Outside. God is not done. Lift your hands. I release fire. 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 Take it. Take it outside. Take it outside. For this purpose, was the Son of God. I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now. That oppression over your life. Two ladies 
sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible, if it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. A devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at. He's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. <laughs> Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She lay down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at you. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. 
Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For and the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, talk. how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? Uh, that I went to toilet on my way coming back. You see, you always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. On the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the ground. Not that, I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So. And, okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a students that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and, no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what I'm so, saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I know. I told them the doctor that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house... It's I time move, for you I to move, go. I go, move. go, go, go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, mama. So, I moved my leg. So, I... Okay, what, what, is, what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did now, you come with it's right the now? Cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. We are bleeding. Then, your the hand. Like, the hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat, so I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So, okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now, I couldn't move the hand. But I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right? Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. fingers. Yes. Every pain go. I command you to go. You are of the spirit of darkness. I challenge you. Try lifting it up. Lift both of your hands up. Try it. Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pains? You feel pains where? Your shoulder. By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I cast that devil. I cast that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me.
that coughs out blood I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood you cough all the time you cough out blood please hurry up you cough out blood literally who is the person inside are they hearing me outside quickly if you identify that person let the person come you cough out blood literally come out clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. only this lady but the members of her family have been oppressed lay your hands on her chest in the name of Jesus I curse that power of darkness be free totally now in the name of Jesus since when for the past two weeks, for the past two weeks. have you gone to the hospital can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hand to your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 I stretch my hand by the power of the spirit. Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Hey, 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 
The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be opened. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. He make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. It will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. My hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now. 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 Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. 
Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar and Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You're free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come, place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata ta kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Legronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiaba. All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go, 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 you can't stand it, go, go, go. I prophesy to you today after today your life will begin to move as if satan does not exist Amen. are you listening to me every oppression those outside hear me every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus, that challenge will bow. Don't let her go. Bring her back. Come, sweetheart. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost Up your heads, O oh ye gates, be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors, and the King of Glory will come in. in Jesus' name, you're free. Come, Mama, bring that lady who is falling. 
See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son has the We have the Son so we have Lay your hands on our stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Interpreter Selena, where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus, okay, okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep. It's the night. I can't breathe. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me in the mighty name of Jesus. I release fire right now. My father locates those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. Shatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
Come out of him. 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 Now fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of you are not done. Out, out, out until he's completely free. Out. Little girl, be free. I separate you with this spirit. Go. 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 Time up. Time up. This lady is heavily oppressed. Out of her. Out devil of darkness. You came for koinonia. You're welcome. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Stand up. Pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are actually possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down when he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness. It's not cancer. It's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. He was the son. Has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery and it's not working. Yes. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you yes. free? Yes. Clear the way for him. He was the son. In 
the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Where? What of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, this metal Amen. Melt away. Ministers move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir. Yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name, be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian, what's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped yes, sir. completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Yes, hmm? Because in your family, women, 
<clears throat> you believe that? Eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things, school didn't work. Many things happened. Even Waiek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out. Now. Now. Shatata rata. Reke tele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata ba 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 ba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Se tele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire. 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 Be set free. Right now in the name of Jesus. You have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. In the name of Jesus. Lawful captives be free. I release you. That devil of temper and anger. Go. Go. I command you be free. The plague of death over your family. Go. 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 I, come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her. Let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. Once again, come. I stopped praying for you for a reason. Please take this guy up, this gentleman. Look at me. See? Cummings. Do you know that your life, listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain. And I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son. Has my dear come and stand here yes come and stand here birthday girl you are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday you're welcome we are going to pray and minister to people the ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray, oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you, these people came to receive. Ministers, go around, please prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa, Jakes? Please, please move around. Where are the people I called out now? Hmm. 
My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight, the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus, be free. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says as you say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight, I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight, the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes, you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage almost to kill somebody. But the Lord sets you free. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If I Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone, quickly, we have to round up, quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir, come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hmm. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. 
I challenge the works of darkness. Go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estephanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido Road. From where? Haido Road. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Alright? So disable all those man of God things. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out. As deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? My grain, put your hands on your head. Lay it. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you.
I saw the sun rising over your family. And then I heard this song. I will wait for you. Jesus. You're the sun in my The days of oppression are over. You are standing on behalf of your family. Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father. For the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. Stretch your hands. Shaba la bara do krasta bara bara. Rata kata prata kada bara bara bash. Paroka prande prade shida. Do miracles, oh God. Mare kata bara 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter. Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit, supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus mighty name I found a reason why I sing I found a reason why I sing I found a reason why I sing I found a reason Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I 
I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be opened in the name of Jesus. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. In the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free. Mental blockage, be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold Seven fold, not one fold, not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April I command fearful supernatural joy in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every womb called Barry I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands on every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. 
a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the lord is telling me let god's people walk to it and move forward in their life i command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it i place you inside it i take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life i release it move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ and i speak to you every egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an egyptian as surely as the lord god of israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them i release signs wonders i release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. 
May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. Rekotosata. Marekete. Retoria. Mabratati. Ekrekete. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives, between today and the next 21 days, you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, my God do it I see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of Jesus take it take it Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces. Leadership. Entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it the Lord gives you a new name whatever you came here for whatever request you brought I command go back with a testimony go back with a complete testimony whatever you came here with go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus and every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire 
Go back and reproduce these things. And even greater. Receive it. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Rabata Shalabakuria. Now, listen. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. Listen to me, everybody, inside and outside. You're here and you've been struggling with your life. The Lord has been speaking to you. You know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right to the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick, do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come. There are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to lead you to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven and say after me, Lord Jesus. Mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus, I come before you acknowledging you as my Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today, I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today. Forward ever. Backward never. The things I used to do. I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord. Of my life. Father. Father commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. 
And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to this one. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus. My brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus. Appreciate them in Jesus' name. Now, in one minute, I'd like you to follow the elder. I said the elders. Follow the ushers. Hallelujah. And they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up. When, sir? Jakes. Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. on the dot. Please be at chapel. Pastor Jakes will be following you up. We have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please. The very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right? So that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out. 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 You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. Alright, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus name.
Balatosa Pratana. You are free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have gone back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. Amen. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you to destiny help us. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan, we set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They will have your details and we'll pray for you and follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus' name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Presbio Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intact Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagles Prints, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you're coming for koinonia, hallelujah, as the Lord blesses you and as the Lord grants you grace, come prepared not only to give your offering, but we'll drop the envelopes. You may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan and the missions is directed by Jakes. Hallelujah, Pastor Jakes. So I'd like you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, we'll just drop the envelopes. You have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seed there and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our mission, so oh God. As we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, mission fields. And we supply welfare to many people. My God, I pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens. We dedicate this. It will only be used for the glory of the king. No man will be glorified but Jesus alone. We dedicate it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. From after the service, if you feel God is leaving you the, em the envelopes, don't go with them, please. You just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed. House on the Rock Foundation 
Zaria presents Tehila Africa. A crazy African praise. The date is 28th February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our school of ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week Friday will be closing for all the prospective students. And now the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. Um, by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March, are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me he will be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastor. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline 